Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Vasculitis Introduction Vasculitis is defined as inflammation of the blood vessels. Inflammation is the body's reaction to infection, irritation, or injury. It can include pain, swelling, redness, and heat. There are several diseases characterized by the presence of vasculitis. In some vasculitis diseases, inflammation is the main problem. In others, vasculitis is just part of the disease. This program will help you understand vasculitis. It discusses the anatomy of blood vessels and symptoms of the disorder. It also talks about how vasculitis is diagnosed and treated. Blood vessels. Blood vessels are tube-like structures that carry blood through the body. The blood vessels of the body together are called the vascular system. Blood rich in oxygen leaves the left part of the heart and enters the aorta. The aorta is the biggest artery of the body. The aorta divides into smaller arteries that go to the brain, arms, intestines, pelvis, and legs. Small arteries divide into even smaller arteries called arterioles. Arterioles divide into the smallest blood vessels of the body called capillaries. In capillaries, blood releases oxygen, glucose, and other nutrients. It also picks up carbon dioxide. The capillaries join together to form venules, which are very small veins. Venules join together to form small veins. Small veins join other veins to form the inferior and superior vena cava. These are the biggest veins of the body. Blood poor in oxygen and rich in carbon dioxide enters the right side of the heart. It leaves the right side of the heart through the pulmonary artery, traveling to the lungs through smaller arteries, arterioles, and capillaries. In the lung capillaries, the blood releases carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen before it goes back through venules and veins to the left side of the heart. Finally, it returns to the aorta. The difference between arteries and veins is that arteries have thicker walls and are more elastic. Vasculitis Vasculitis is the inflammation of the blood vessels. Inflammation may be the body's response to infection, trauma, or disease. Inflammation of the blood vessels can cause them to narrow. This can block blood flow. It can also cause the walls of the blood vessels to become painful, red, and tender. Depending on the disease, vasculitis can affect various blood vessels. When arteries are the inflamed blood vessels, the condition is also called arteritis. Vasculitis can affect blood vessels in various organs, such as the brain, kidneys, and lungs. Vasculitis is a group of diseases of the blood vessels. The diseases differ according to the blood vessels involved, the organs involved, the main cause, if known. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Causes Vasculitis is thought to be a disease of the immune system. The immune system is made of special blood cells and chemicals that identify and destroy foreign material. Cells of the immune system are called white blood cells. They destroy foreign material, including viruses and bacteria. There are two kinds of white blood cells, T cells and B cells. When T cells identify a foreign material or organism, they attack it. When B cells identify a foreign material, they secrete special chemicals called antibodies. These antibodies stick to the foreign material and cause it to die. 
vasculitis may occur when the immune system mistakes chemicals in the blood vessels for foreign materials. The immune system then attacks the blood vessels and damages them. It is not known what causes the immune system to malfunction. Sometimes vasculitis happens as a reaction to specific substances injected into the blood, such as cocaine or amphetamine. Vasculitis can accompany infections, such as hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is a viral infection. Some cancers and rheumatic diseases are associated with vasculitis. Symptoms The symptoms of vasculitis vary depending on which organ is affected. If the brain is affected, strokes, paralysis, and vision problems may occur. The kidneys are responsible for cleaning waste and toxic materials out of the blood. When they are affected by vasculitis, their function declines. Sometimes this must be treated with dialysis. A dialysis machine acts like an artificial kidney. There are different types of vasculitis, including Kawasaki disease, which affects the mucous membranes and the heart. Besset's disease, which affects the mouth, eyes, and genital areas. Polyarteritis nodosa, which affects the skin, heart, kidneys, and nervous system. Wegener's granulomatosis, which mainly affects the respiratory tract. Diagnosis To diagnose vasculitis, blood tests are done to find signs of inflammation and antibodies. Antibodies are substances secreted by the cells of the immune system. Your healthcare provider may surgically take a sample of a blood vessel to be examined under the microscope. This is called a biopsy. Other blood tests and urine tests may be done to check the function of the involved organs. An angiogram may be needed to look at the arteries and veins. An angiogram is a test where dye is injected in the blood vessels and special x-rays are taken. X-rays, CT scans, and MRIs may be done to look at various organs of the body and see if they are affected. Treatment Treatment for the disorder depends on what type of vasculitis is present. Vasculitis caused by a medication or drug can get better if you stop taking that specific medication. In cases where there is no known reason for the vasculitis, stopping inflammation is the priority. This may be done with steroid medication, such as prednisone or dexamethasone. Suppressing the immune system may also be done using medications such as cyclophosphamide. Along with these medications, the affected organs must be treated. You may need a respirator if the lungs are affected. Dialysis may be needed if the kidneys quit working. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Vasculitis is a group of diseases that involves inflammation of the blood vessels. Inflammation of the blood vessels can cause them to narrow. This can block blood flow. It can also cause the walls of the blood vessels to become painful, red, and tender. Vasculitis is thought to be a reaction of the immune system. Vasculitis may occur when the immune system mistakes chemicals in the blood vessels for foreign materials. Treatments to decrease inflammation and suppress the immune system are available. Most people with vasculitis are able to live satisfying lives. Thank you for using Explain.